Well, for years, a Chikawaga veteran has had an amazing 4th of July light and flag display. But that tradition ended when Ed Cryer passed away. Our Jeff Preval shows us how one neighbor is keeping that spirit alive. Stitched into the memories of many on Nokomis Parkway in Chictawaga is Ed Cryer's 4th of July flag and light display. The trolleys, the inflatables, the flags, and so much more. But this year is different. Ed Cryer, who was a former Marine, passed away earlier this year at the age of 86. Several doors down from where Ed lived, David Shovelman is keeping Ed's spirit alive. Mr. Cryer has passed away. Uh, that's who I'm doing this light show for. And uh, he was a really good guy. He used to do uh, flag displays every single fourth on the Comus. And uh, I really appreciated what he did. David was one of those kids in the neighborhood who grew up looking forward to Ed's 4th of July display every year. Now, after Ed's passing and with the support from the Cryer family, David is keeping the tradition going and using some of Ed's inflatable displays and flags. Because America is a good country and it's a... It's the uh, country that we live in. This is how the display looks at night. David says for the past two years, he's been working on coating the pixel lights to make them just right. Looks like a Griswold Christmas, but it's just the 4th of July. As red, white, and blue light up the night sky. News 4 highlighted Ed's Independence Day display back in 2006, but that year was a somber one for the Cryer family. After the passing of Ed's father, Chester, Ed set up a memorial for his dad. I got the word that he had passed on, and I just felt that out of respect for, for Pop, I just couldn't go through with it again this year. And now, exactly 17 years later, with the memories of the past in his heart, David keeps the tradition alive so other boys and girls in the neighborhood can grow up like he did. And I'll be continuing it for the years to come. This flag and light display will be shining bright tonight. Of course, for the 4th of July, the community is also invited to check out another flag and light display in honor of Ed Cryer. That's happening on Hiller Road in Akron. Jeff Perval, News 4.